Hi folks, so while browsing a recent Steam sale, I saw this program called CPU Cores. It promises to basically increase your frames per second in games um, by um, optimizing various uh, Windows processes and so forth and shuffling around um, program priorities. This seemed a little bit far-fetched that it would actually have a significant difference, but it was on sale for about $7. Steam has a refund policy, so I decided to check it out. In doing a little bit of reading before I um, hit the checkout button, apparently there's some internet drama about this a little bit. You know, people for and against. I don't have a dog in that fight. I just, you know, stumbled upon this, like I said, and was curious to see if it would give me a few more FPS in Arma 3. So that's what I've been testing it on. I figured this would be a good... Well, this is actually something I wanted to work because Arma 3 is notoriously uh, resource-hungry. And uh, it would be nice if I could get another f even 5 or 10 FPS. That would be great. Um, so... Hold on, I'm just going to turn the sound effects down a little bit. Just so I'm not shouting over them. Oh yeah, and uh, for this run, I'm just going to run a benchmark. Um, so there's something in the background of the video. And at the end, I'm going to show you all my results because I've already done many runs of this. So CPU cores is currently active for this one. I'm going to load up yet another ARMA benchmark. This is a pretty AI heavy scenario. Uh, currently, as you may have just uh, noticed, I set my video preferences to auto detect. And when the benchmark starts, I'm going to hit a shortcut key in the benchmark to set it further specifically to the standard settings for this benchmark. There, it's done. Uh, so, anyway, I don't really have a stake in any of those fights. I was just a guy who wondered if this would work and uh, thought it would be pretty cool if it did. Arma 3 is probably also a fairly good thing to test it on on this system because it's uh, CPU bottlenecked on my machine. I'm running an AMD FX 8350, currently overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Um, I think it's currently overclocked to like uh, 1900, somewhere around there. And I'm running a uh, GTX 1060 6 gigabyte edition for the graphics card. And Arma 3 doesn't really stress that card all that much. The frame rate difference between low and ultra graphics settings on this machine are 10 FPS or less on average. So it's really all about the CPU, because the thing with Arma is, one, it's an old engine which is basically single-threaded for most of its major important operations. And number two, Arma can have dozens of AI characters and players uh, running around, and all the AIs making fairly complicated decisions. It's very CPU-intensive. You know, the rule of thumb with games is that the GPU is more important than the CPU. That's not the case with Arma. So if you're testing a program that's supposed to make your CPU work better in games, this seems like a good one to test it on. So, here we are. Nearing the end of the benchmark. Basically, so I'll wrap uh, my chatter up. Basically, what I did is both with and without CPU cores... I ran three runs of this benchmark each um, with low and ultra settings. And um, then just one each uh, with uh, the auto detect standard settings. Just as kind of a sanity check and right now so I'd have something to talk over. And at the end we can take a look at the averages. I probably should have actually... Uh, grabbed a calculator uh, before this and really totaled it up, but I think the data will be fairly clear for you to see. Coming up right on the end of the benchmark here. 
One last circle around the town and the uh, cast jet that goes overhead. Okay. So with CPU cores running on this last run, we got an average of 27.4. Uh, looks like a low of about 19 FPS. That's pretty typical. Let's gotta save this result. Auto, whoops. Auto detect standard. CPU cores. All right. Auto detect standard without CPU cores, 27.3. And one thing I wanna point out, the reason I ran so many of these tests is because this is a, a, a dynamic benchmark. It's got dozens of AI characters, which don't always make exactly the same decisions. You watch the benchmark from time to time. Sometimes different ones are alive. They're in di slightly different positions. Because for one thing, that's what it's testing. It's testing the CPU's ability to run all those AI. But here, we look down at this. No CP cores, ultra, 22.8, 22.7, 23.3. No CPU cores low, 33.1, 32.3, CPU cores ultra, 23.4, 23.4, 22.7. You know, like I said, I haven't gotten the calculator, but that looks like it's within about one FPS, which is basically the margin of error of this test. CPU cores low, 33.3, 31.8, 33.5, compared to the other low, looking at 32, maybe one FPS better. You know what, I'll probably add an annotation because I will actually get a calculator after I've closed out this video. Um, and then, you know, auto detect basically within 0.1. So I wanna be clear about specificity here I personally, I think I can draw a conclusion about the effectiveness of CPU cores from this, but strictly speaking, this applies to my machine with the specs I listed, Arma 3 with and without CPU cores. If you have a different machine, if you're running a different game, you may have different results. But in what I think should have been a good test scenario for seeing if this program did anything, I'm not seeing anything significant. If it had been even f a clear 5 FPS better, I would have said, all right, you know, it works. It did something for me. But with this, we're looking at, you know, maybe one, one and a half FPS either way, it really looks like. So that's it, guys. I'm probably going to be refunding this right after I post, after I uh, <laughs> hit save on this video. So you guys take it easy. Hope you found this helpful.